Dies Marieve August Foltis Jock. Mary Kennedy here, and you're very welcome to my first series of Senior Times podcasts. Now, it's often been said that we are a nation of storytellers. I believe that to be true, and I am hugely impressed by the number and the quality of women writers in this country. On this podcast, my guest is Christine Dwyer Hickey. Christine, you're very welcome. Thank you. And we're going to start by talking about uh, not your first book. This is actually your fourth book, but uh, it's very important because it was honoured by Dublin City Council this year. It's Tatty and it was uh, the book that was chosen for One City, One Book. And I think the best way to start would be to ask you if you wouldn't mind to read a piece from it. So Tatty is the story of the breakup of a marriage, but it's told from the point of view of one of the children whose nickname is Tatty. And uh, as the novel, it's episodic and every chapter she is a year older. So at this stage, I think she is probably about six. Yeah. So. When you go out with the men, you go to the pub. You get hooshed up on the bar stool. You get to do things you're not supposed to tell ma'am about. Sometimes you get a little pint of stout. A pint for me, Dad says, and a little pint for my pal here. It tastes like black buttermilk, sour and thick. It stings the tubes in the inside of your ears on the way down. But you drink it all up and go, ah, the way Dad does, and wipe your mouth on the back of your hand. Then you say, I want to go to the toilet, even if you don't. And you get lifted down off the stool and the men forget all about you. I didn't realise when I was reading it mm. that it was autobiographical. But uh, it's it's quite harrowing as well, the story. When you think of this little one that you've yeah. just read the excerpt from, sitting in a pub when she should have been out playing, really. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's not a world that she should have been in at all. No. That you should have been in at all. It, it seemed quite, it seemed more normal in one ways then, in the, in the 60s and the 70s. You'd see children in pubs. Um, and I think... In that case, it's only now when you look back that you think, oh, that was a terrible thing for a child. Like when I think of it, you know, it's been sent to the bookies across the big road and been sent in. But the men sending her wasn't just the father sending her. It was the other man sending her with the, with the, the list when she was five or six to go to the bookies. And it just seemed to be a different Dublin then on, on the one hand. And on the other hand, nobody ever said that child is too young to be in the pub. It, was, it all happened during the day. And funnily enough, I don't feel particularly, particularly neglected because of the childhood experience in the pub. Because quite a lot of the time I had great fun and I saw a lot of people and I met a lot of people. And, you know, I had a lot of adventures with my father. It was, for me, the drinking environment became problematic later. 